I'm uh, Maxine Peak, and I'll be performing Shelley's Mask of Anarchy in the Albert Hall during the festival, I think three nights, which is to be directed by Sarah Franken. So yeah, it's all very exciting. It's Shelley's sort of response to the Peterloo Massacre, which happened in the 1800s, sort of just down the road between the back of the uh, Midland Hotel and the GMEX now. That's where the two buildings are. But yes, there was a, a massacre, there was a, a public protest there, and a lot of people were mowed down and murdered innocently. And it was, yeah, it was a shocking, shameful event in Manchester's history, but I think it should not be forgotten, and that's what's brilliant about the Manchester International Festival, is remembering it. Because it is an international festival, and it's fantastic that people are coming from all over the world, you know, artists, and it'll bring people from all over the world, but I think it's also about celebrating Manchester and its history, and, and Peter Lewis should never be forgotten. We've not sort of got in the rehearsal room yet, so nothing's been put on its feet. I mean, Sarah have been having quite a few sort of discussions about the tone of it and the themes within it. I mean, Sarah's going to sort of orchestrate, I think, through lots of sound and lighting and, you know, we want it to be very atmospheric and we want it to be a very honest, sort of open reading of, a, of, a, of this, well, reading. I won't be reading, I shall be uh, off book. Um, we don't want it to be a standard poetry reading, we want to sort of get inside it and make it relevant and being able to connect with the audience on sort of a, on, on a different level. Alex Poots actually approached me and said look, I've got this poem, I'd really like to put it into the programme somewhere and I'd really like it sort of used so we can then bounce off it as a response to the poem, you know, about are we powerless now in society, what is the meaning of protest now, how do we develop protest, is protest sort of feasible, you know, so he said I would like, you know, this sort of to be performed, would you do it? And I said, well, what do you want me to do? He said, I don't know, would you do it? And I was like, okay. And then he said, how about I approach Sarah Frankham from the Royal Exchange and serve what with three times now, um, and I said, well, there's nobody better, actually, for me, who I could trust implicitly to pull off a project like this. So we've sort of got together and teamed up and we're hopefully going to pull it off. Yes, at the moment, unless there are some different ideas and, you know, ships in 20 people on bungee jumps, I don't know. But no, I think at the moment it will just be me sort of narrating this piece to, to the audience. I'm, I'm absolutely petrified. I think the chance is just being up there on your own. I mean, the thing about acting, what I love about it is you're in a team. You know, it's a team. Some not all actors, you know, think like that. But for me, it's a team. It's a team game. It's, you know, so I, yeah, that's going to be pretty frightening. But then I suppose my team is the audience. It's about just conveying it to them. So hopefully, it'll be a connection. It won't just be a, you know. So I'm relying on them to help me through it. opens up Manchester to you know a wider international audience you know and it's great that it isn't everything isn't always London centric you do sort of feel sometimes in Manchester everybody goes to London it's all happening in London you know Manchester is a fantastic city and you get so many people I know when they come here go oh my goodness I didn't know so well you haven't been before have you get yourself up here you know and there is so yeah if it just gets you know a wider odd international audience Manchester people to come and see what a great city is what what great arts and culture we've got here you know so 